Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, so one of the interesting aspects of um, Windows, uh, there used to be a saying when Windows 10 came out, one of the sayings was that um, we should try to move as many people to the same version of Windows as possible. And they kind of succeeded with Windows 10. I mean, the amount of people that moved on to Windows 10 is incredible. It's the uh, operating system that has the number, highest number of users ever. Um, no operating system, including Windows 7, ever had that many, you know, 1.5 billion actual machines. We can't really take the numbers from before because Windows 7 and Windows XP, Windows 8, and that era, Windows Vista, in that era, the numbers Microsoft gave were licensed sold. Well, a license sold doesn't mean that it's actually an actual Windows PC running. Now, Windows 10's numbers were given as actual machines. And that is a real number of computers out there. Now, Windows 10 did lose a little bit of momentum um, in the market share, but it didn't lose that much. Um, it lost a little bit to probably Windows 11 at some point. And um, what's happening is that Windows 10 is still dominant and very, very high. So, you know, more than one point some billion people are still on Windows 10. The decline of Windows 10 isn't fast. And in the last six months, it's actually almost stalled. Um, Windows 10 users are staying on Windows 10 right now. And that's going to be a big problem. We, talk, we talked about it in the previous videos for the future. And this third video is, again... Another one of my um, my ideas of of the future of Windows and what could happen because we're in a very unique situation that never has happened before in Windows. Um, that's for sure. So the first video talked about Windows 10 extension because there'd be too many people still on Windows 10. Now, what else could be done to change that? We talked about how about Microsoft dropped Windows 11's minimum requirement. That could be a possibility also. Adds more people, and that will actually take some off Windows 10. But what else could happen that would make people want to move on and take a lot off of Windows 10? Because Microsoft will be faced with that decision, I'm pretty sure, in the future. And... You know, if I'm still doing this and still here three years from now, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see how wow, my prophecies are 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 going to happen or not. Um, you know, as this is really purely just my own take on the future with Microsoft. Um, of course, the change that came this year was the fact that they started talking about, oh, we're going to now go back to a three-year release of Windows, which means 2024 could have Windows 12, that we're calling it Windows 12. It The name could be something else. There's definitely a project within Microsoft that's called Windows Next. And pretty much everybody agreed, and I talked about it yesterday, that um, the famous leak that we've seen of, you know, this desktop is uh, with a floating taskbar and, and things at the top like that and so on, are possible Windows 12 leak. And they're possibly the next version of Windows. So that brings me to another point. Let's say Microsoft refuses to extend support of Windows 10 and refuses to change the minimum requirements of Windows 11. Last option left. If you don't want to lose your face and don't want to lose, um, you know, trust in a lot of users, Windows 12. What if Windows 12 came out and ditched the minimum requirements and would be the, okay, you're on Windows 10. And since it's going to be released a year before, they could just say, well, you know, Windows 10 users can move on to Windows 12 for free without having any special minimum requirements or if they do have minimum requirements those minimum requirements should not be as bad as windows 11 
So they could back off a little and say, we're going to accept in Windows 12, a, you know, a couple of generations older and a couple of uh, things that um, we didn't accept in Windows 11. That could take some Windows 10 users off and maybe with a really nice look at what's going to happen in the future well that could maybe change everybody's um, that could change everybody's idea of what the future is going to be for um, you know Windows 10 and no extension people will want to move on to that new version of Windows 12 eventually so that's my third idea behind the Windows operating system um, if they don't extend Windows 10, then they have to remove minimum requirements in Windows 11. And if they don't, well, how about Windows 12 with, you know, relaxed rules for the minimum requirements? What do you guys think about that? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.